Hello, uh, my name is Roman. I'm one of the product manager at Smart Cloud Connect. Uh, in this demo, I will show you how do we integrate Gmail or G Suite with Salesforce and how does our authorization process work. Uh, also, I'm going to tell you about the product, user flow, and a bit of about the company. So, Smart Cloud Connect is one of the product of Invisible AO. Uh, this is the vendor with the long story in the market uh, in the field of sales engagement tools. Uh, so, um, Smart Cloud Connect is a tool that helps uh, sales reps and sales managers to integrate Salesforce with the Outlook and Gmail. Uh, why we do this? Because uh, sales uh, people uh, need to integrate their uh, inbox with the CRM uh, to synchronize their data. Uh, this is the calendars, um, emails, contacts about their clients. So uh, our key integrators is uh, Salesforce, Sybil, uh, Oracle, SAP, Workbooks, BPM Online. Um, we support uh, inboxes of Outlook, Office 365, Gmail, uh, IBM Notes. So um, how um, does our um, user flow look like? Uh, there is a couple ways. The first one, uh, to click button free trial and fill out data. Then our sales team will contact with our um, potential clients. Uh, in our way, uh, we can uh, install uh, the extension uh, Smart Cloud Connect for Salesforce and Gmail. Just add to the Chrome. Uh, great. It has been added to from. So then we go to Gmail and then we see the icon uh, of Smart Cloud Connect. Click on this. And now we should sign into uh, my Google account. So uh, first of all, I should choose my accounts. Uh, great. So I pick this one. Uh, I'm in the test user mode, so I need to... Uh, great, so uh, here's you can see that Smart Cloud Connect wants to access to your Google account. Uh, just a couple words, what this and why do we need this? So uh, uh, salespeople, as I said, uh, have need to synchronize their um, data about the clients into Salesforce. And that's why we ask permissions for um, view and modify, uh, but not delete your email. Why it is important? Because uh, a lot of emails uh, with the clients uh, should be saved to um, a CRM system. Uh, it helps salespeople uh, keep on focus when they try to close the deal and uh, do not forget about something important. Next thing is a calendar events. Uh, uh, here's we are asking for uh, see, edit, share, and permanently delete all calendars that you can access using uh, Google Calendar. Why? Also the same thing. Um, salespeople uh, have a lot of meetings with their clients, and it should be synchronized with the CRM. Uh, the next important thing also complex. Um, the user can um, save some context to their Google accounts, I mean the business context, and then it will be synchronized with their CRM system. Uh, another thing is attachments. So if the user uh, work with the presentations, pictures, etc., uh, and if this should be synchronized with the CRM system, uh, we provide this opportunity. And also, uh, we use um, mailbox labels. Uh, it also needs for uh, some manual um, synchronization. Uh, I will show how it works later. And uh, last one thing uh, is about task. Uh, tasks is also important thing because it helps to keep in focus the main uh, deals uh, and um, other stuff for salespeople. And good. So. Uh, if user agree with this uh, policy, uh, click hello. 
Great, and looking successfully completed. Now we see the security alert that I uh, just provided my uh, permission to Google account and uh, just next thing, make some refresh. Um, great, and uh, now we should connect to Salesforce. It takes some time. Great, and login successfully completed. Just waiting a bit. Uh, great, and now we can see this sidebar. Uh, this is the UI component of our product that helps to manage uh, contacts and any uh, activity records. And uh, before I will show you the features, uh, I would like to uh, tell more about sync settings. There is the page that actually uh, shows you the statuses about the synchronization, uh, also last sessions, uh, and mail server connection status. Uh, if user wants to make some changes, he goes there, click this button, and uh, he's able to update or uh, refresh his Gmail uh, accounts data. Just, yeah. Yeah, and flow is the same. Provide assets for uh, these items. Uh, great. Uh, so uh, now I would like to show how does our product work. Uh, so there is uh, two ways. The first one, as I said, is to use uh, sidebar. Uh, how this work? So for example, we I'll click on email. Uh, let's say this is our potential client. Uh, and uh, what we see now that uh, Smart Cloud Connect just shown uh, suggested new records. Uh, for example, we want to create a new lead. Uh, we profile the data from this mail and just click create. Great, view it. And uh, our record was created. Just check this in Salesforce. Yeah, great. And now you can see that our lead was created in the Salesforce. Great. Um, the next, the next thing, as I said, we need permission for um, managing the mails. Why? Because w now we can save this email to the Salesforce. We can see subject. Uh, we can fill out additional fields. Also, uh, we can attach some file. Now it's my signature. Save. It will take a couple of seconds. Great, we see that attachments was successfully saved. And now we can view it. Yeah, this is the uh, text body. And uh, also we can find this item in the Salesforce. Uh, great. Also, uh, another thing, uh, we can create some tasks. Let's provide some data and click create. Great, and now we have the one more item in the side panel. Uh, there's the task for um, our potential sales um, person, let's say. Uh, great. Uh, also, uh, another way, uh, to use um, our product, uh, it's a Salesforce emails uh, label. How does it work? Uh, for example, we want to save uh, this the same mail to Salesforce. What should we do? We uh, 
go to the label and click the Salesforce mails and then click apply. So uh, what will happen next? Uh, every 30 minutes, uh, we um, do automatical um, synchroniz synchronization process. What does it mean that our mail and next 30 minutes will be synchronized to Salesforce? And another feature set that I would like to present to you is about the calendar events. Uh, it's also important items for salespeople uh, that should be synchronized with the uh, CRM system. In our case is Salesforce. Uh, why? Because uh, they should keep in focus uh, all details about um, the potential uh, opportunity. And uh, that's why they synchronize all events with their clients. For that, we should provide uh, a few settings uh, for using calendar. Uh, as you see, there is also ability uh, for auto sharing of emails uh, what, and also auto sale all emails in the threads. What does it mean that all new messages in the thread will be synchronized automatically to Salesforce? And another section is about a calendar. Um, I need to turn on uh, ability to auto share meetings uh, and appointments. Click save. Um, great. And now uh, we can go to the calendar section and uh, create some events. So um, we can provide some full uh, location, some description, uh, just add the case. Great. And you see, we have just typed uh, a mail of our potential client, let, client, let's say, and our sidebar just prefilled this to uh, delete. Great. And now we have ability to save this event into Salesforce. We just click the button uh, save and then click save. So. Uh, Calendar event will be saved to Salesforce after sending and one another object. Great. So click save, send. Great. And now this event will be synchronized with the Salesforce. And now I want to see the another one, our feature, which called um, templates. You can easily insert the templates to your mail. For example, a new customer mail, recipient, Roman, and insert. Just waiting a bit. Great, and now we can see that uh, we have just added template to our um, mail. Click send. Also, if you want to save this mail to Salesforce, uh, we can click button save. Great, and the mail was sent into Salesforce and one other object. Also, one of our important feature is the synchronizing context between Gmail and Salesforce. Uh, how to do this? We go to uh, context section. We go and we see here the label Salesforce context. What does it mean? All this context was synchronized from Salesforce to uh, context of Google. Uh, as I said, our tool works bidirectionally. For example, if I create the contact, example, click save. Now you see that we created the contact with the label Salesforce context. Uh, it means that 
in the next 30 minutes, this contact will be synchronized with the Salesforce. So basically, this that's it. It's our core functionality. Uh, if you have additional questions, please uh, leave it for us in the mail. Bye-bye.